The Keyword in Context, or Quick Callocation Table module, offers a means to give meaningful limits to very large searches. It provides a way to view the words that appear in the immediate context of a word that we are searching for. For example, if we open the Context tab and look at the book context for 1 Peter, we find that the word God appears 39 times in 1 Peter. We can limit our search findings and find out more information about God in 1 Peter by using the Collocation Table module. To open the Quick Collocation Table module, go to Tools on the main menu in BibleWorks, select Analyzing the Text, and then choose Quick Collocation Table Module. Choose your version, in this case the New American Standard Version, and set the verse range to just 1 Peter. Then in the Word box, enter the word God. The default settings, left five words, right five words, and two codes, are fine for our search. Then click the Build button to run the search. In the top window, you can see a brief single-line concordance with our search word, the word God in red. This is a keyword in context concordance. In the bottom window, you'll see a collocation table. Notice that the words in the collocation table are sorted according to frequency. The X indicates our search word in the zero position, in this case the word God, and the negative numbers at the top of the table show words that appear before our search word God, while the positive numbers show the words that appear after our search word God. For example, as we scroll down the column, Notice the word will in the left column, which occurs six times in frequency. Click on the word will, and the quick concordance changes to show every occurrence of will in relationship to God in 1 Peter. The search term God is in red, while the relationship word will is in blue. Five times the word will appears two words before the word God and one time it appears two words after the word God. Notice the additional positive and negative numbers in the table heading. Where there is a zero, it indicates that there are no occurrences of will in those positions. If you click on the table column and a particular heading such as negative two, the heading sorts the table by that column. So we would assume that in, in addition to will of God, we might find grace of God or hand of God occurring in 1 Peter. Let's go back to will. So in the quick display above, it shows every occurrence of God in relationship to will. In each occurrence, we see that 1 Peter discusses God's will. You can click on a verse in the quick concordance and it will change the browse window to display that verse. When you are finished analyzing the occurrences of will, you can reload the quick concordance back to the original results by clicking the reload button. Then you can research how other words may relate to the word God in 1 Peter. The copy menu option allows you to copy quick and callocation table entries to the clipboard ready for you to paste into the editor. The Callocation Table module provides a way to give meaningful limits to very large searches. For example, if we were working in the book of Acts and we use the Context tab to find how many times the word God appears in the book of Acts, we find that it occurs there 162 times. A click on God finds all those verses but that's a lot of verses to sort through. A search result of this size is difficult to sort and categorize quickly and accurately. Using the Callocation Table module, you can quickly see major terms that appear in relationship to God and more easily see how to identify and categorize important verses about God. 
Let's open the collocation table module by going to Tools, Analyzing the Text, and Quick Collocation Table Module. Continue to work with the NAS. Set AX as our verse range by entering ACT. Then enter the word God in the word box. We'll leave our left and right and codes values as seen here. Then click Build. As we look through the collocation table, we see that Fathers appears in relationship to God 12 times. And when we click on Fathers, we find usually with some discussion about our fathers. The word Word appears in relationship to God 13 times, usually referring to the Word of God. The word Raised appears nine times, in each occurrence except one describing God raising Jesus from the dead. Through noticing the relationship between the search term God and the relationship terms and the context around it, we gain insight into the message of Acts that may be difficult to see simply through a search on the word God.